sisters god bless hope your night or day is going good and everything is going well with you and i hope this video blesses somebody i want to talk about certain implications to things that we have in scripture we consider in the book of psalms it says the lord will give strength unto his people the lord will bless his people with peace two things that i notice about this right off is that the lord will give strength unto his people so the lord will give us strength and the Lord will bless his people with peace. And we know that that peace is through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict through Christ. That therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is how God has blessed us with peace. He's blessed us with Jesus Christ, that through the knowledge of him and what he's accomplished in his life and his resurrection, that we have peace with God through a justified, not guilty verdict. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God. And notice how this verse also says that we have strength from the Lord. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So the Lord will give strength unto his people. And this strength is accessed by faith in the Son of God through the knowledge of the justified not guilty verdict by which we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you consider where the scripture says, that he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So as Christ dwells in our hearts through faith, we're strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So this is not about a self-originating strength. In fact, his power is made perfect in weakness. When we understand our own weakness and inability so that we rest and trust in Christ, by faith we access his strength. That my grace is sufficient for thee, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When we understand our inability and our insufficiency and our weakness, and understand the grace of God and its sufficiency, the power of God is made perfect. And the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So the Lord gives strength unto his people, and this is accessed through faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself up for us that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and when that happens, that he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And the faith is never independent from the peace that we have towards the Lord Jesus Christ, that therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So in our faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. And his people are strengthened as Christ dwells in their hearts through faith and through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict. They're strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. In the book of Isaiah, it says, He will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So notice it says, he will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. And trust is another word for faith, for belief, that you're trusting and having faith in Christ. And he will keep him at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusts in him. The person who's keeping their mind on Christ, what he's accomplished and who we are on the basis of that, justified, not guilty, verdict, people, therefore having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. The reason why people can lose peace with God in their mind conceptually for a time is because they're adding themselves into the equation and they're taking their mind off of Christ and they're looking to themselves. Maybe some habitual sin problem, looking at the law and its stringency and its standard, looking away from Christ and what he's accomplished and who the person is who believes on the basis of that but in fact they start looking at themselves and so they start losing peace with God because they don't believe that they're justified because they're looking at themselves 
They're looking at their issues. And so for a temporal time, this can make a person lose in their mind conceptually peace with God. But he will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. And notice it goes on to say, Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. That through faith and trusting in the Lord there's everlasting strength. That he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So he will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. When it's saying trust in the Lord forever, it's saying walk by faith, live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave himself up for us. And that is how you access strength and power, that he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And that faith is never independent from the justified not guilty verdict that we have apart from the works of the law by which we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ, a non guilty verdict by our faith, and we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. That we maintain that a man has a justified not guilty verdict by their faith apart from the works of the law through Christ Jesus. And he will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So there's strength in the Lord. There's strength accessed through our faith. And this is why Paul taught us that there is exceeding power towards us who believe. Where he says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all glory, would grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding might be enlightened, that you may know the hope of his calling, what is the riches of his glory, of his inheritance, which is among the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. See, God wants us to know what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. This is us who believe that we have peace with God through a justified, not guilty verdict, independent from law performance. So he will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And we see Jesus describing this peace that we have with him. This peace which is fruit of the Spirit, which is through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict by our faith. Jesus describes this peace not as the world gives does he give to us. My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So Jesus describes this peace that we have with him through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus describes this peace not as the world gives does he give to us. And he says, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. That a fearful heart that is afraid and troubled stands in direct contradiction to the peace that Jesus gives us, not as the world gives does he give to us. So after all Jesus has done to establish peace through his life and through his brutal death, that he suffered and died on a cross for our sins to establish peace and then through a resurrection, a justified not guilty verdict, that he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, and the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. That the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, by his stripes we are healed. That we are healed from our transgressions and our iniquities. That he reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ's body, by his death, that we might be holy in his sight, without blemish, and free from accusation. So the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his stripes you are healed. And Jesus says, My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Don't let them be afraid of judgment or punishment. God has fully dealt with it through Jesus Christ on the cross. That he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And so keeping your mind on the reality of the accomplishments of the cross will bring you peace. He will keep you at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. 
In Isaiah it says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, and he will also become my salvation. So notice, Behold, my God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. And this is what Jesus is saying when he says, My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid that we have peace with God through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict by our faith, independent from the law, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't have to let our hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Notice again that there is strength connected to trusting in the Lord, to having faith in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength, that he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So as we trust in the Lord, as our faith is in the Lord, we are strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. As our faith is in the Lord, what He's accomplished, and who we are as justified, not guilty verdict people on the basis of His life and work, we are strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. So we were all collectively and equally called to this same peace. Every single one of us that has been called to Christ, to him the doorkeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, he calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out. Every single one of us that has been called by name into the body of Christ have been called to a collective equal peace. Colossians says, Let the peace of God rule in your hearts by which you were called to peace into one body, and be thankful. That let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let it have command and authority. The peace, not as the world gives, does he give to us. This peace is through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict, therefore having been justified by faith, past tense, justification, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're called collectively and equally to this peace. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, by which you were called to peace into one body, and be thankful. That is accomplished by keeping your minds on Christ. He will keep you at perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So God wants us to focus our faith. God the Father wants our faith focused on His Son, by which He has established peace for us. Through His life and through His work. And so what we do is let our minds be renewed to the truth of God and what He has accomplished through His life, through His work, and who we are on the basis of that, by our faith, Justified, not guilty verdict people by which we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we do this, we have strength. Not only are we having peace with God as we access it in our minds through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict through our faith, but we also are strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. When we focus on Christ and what He's accomplished by which we have peace, we're strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. Thou will keep him at perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him, because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So when our faith and trust is in the Lord, and the knowledge that we are justified, not guilty verdict people, by which we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ, there is strength, that he would grant you according to his glorious riches to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So no matter what we're going through in life, no matter the trouble or the circumstance, if your mind is affixed on Christ and what he's accomplished and who we are on the basis of that, justified, not guilty verdict people, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says, in me you'll have peace, in the world you'll have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus is letting us know that even if we have trouble in this world, that cannot take away the peace that he gives to us. Because the peace that he gives us is not as the world gives does he give to us. My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. A lot of people find peace in temporal things in this world, and as soon as those things fall out, they lose their peace when there's trouble in this world. Jesus is saying, in me you'll have peace, in the world you'll have trouble, take heart, I've overcome the world. 
So Jesus is letting us know that even the troubling circumstances cannot take away the peace that we have towards God through the Lord Jesus Christ, the peace not as the world gives does he give to us. Jesus is saying, in me you'll have peace, in him we'll have peace, in the knowledge that we have a justified, not guilty verdict through him, therefore having been justified by faith, we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So in me you'll have peace, in Christ, where we have a justified, not guilty verdict, by which we have peace toward God through the Lord Jesus Christ. The troubling circumstances cannot take away that fact. In me you'll have peace, in the world you'll have trouble, take heart, I have overcome the world. Even in a troubled world, we can have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, not as the world gives does he give to us, through the knowledge of a justified, not guilty verdict, and having our minds set on him, by which we access the strength and the power of God. He will keep you at perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him, because you trust in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I hope you're having a great day, and peace to you. Thank you.